Welcome to Miller Motor Cars. My name is Alexi Katkov and I'm a sales consultant here at McLaren Greenwich. We'd love to introduce to you my personal favorite 2019 roof scoop, McLaren 600 LT. In 1997, McLaren has introduced its first long tail, F1 GTR long tail that performed superbly at Le Mans. It's beat its competition and it lapped it 30 times. In 2015, McLaren has reintroduced long tail in its super series with 675 LT Coupe and Spider. Both were produced in limited production numbers, 500 units each. We're lucky to receive long series back in the sports series configuration. This is a 600 LT coupe that's based on a carbon fiber chassis that weighs only 75 kilos. And the whole package here, the whole car, weighs only 2,994 pounds. This McLaren 600 LT is a work of art. It's got all the attributes of a long tail, high output, low weight, high aerodynamic efficiency. So you see the front of the car is a bit pointy. This allows to split up air in four quadrants and provide Dump force as well as cooling towards the radiators. The most prominent feature of the front is the front splitter that was increased 27 millimeters, as well as end plates on either side of the car. These are provided to channel the air around the fender and the wheel, as well as provide more dump force. What makes 600LT exhilarating to drive? Well, if you observe the profile of the vehicle itself, you could see that it's quite different from its predecessors, 570 GT and 570S. In fact, a lot of technologies from Ultimate Series as well as Super Series were contributed towards production of this car. It has revised geometry setup, so the front of the car has been lowered by eight millimeters and the track has been widened by 10. This particular wheel on the 600LT is a 10-spoke ultra lightweight wheel in combination with the Pirelli P0 Trofeo tire saves 17 kilos, which is tremendous. Along the profile of the car, you could find a redesigned skirt, which has fences on the front as well as the rear. These trap the air, push it towards the vehicle, and allow it to move it that quickly and cleanly along the side. You could also notice an extended intake duct. This inside contains a high temperature radiator to cool off the engine. As you can see, the form of the car resembles very much P1 design. This design itself is called a shrink wrap design. One of the most special things about 600LT is its new top exiting exhaust inspired by McLaren Senna. This setup is fully stainless steel. It is a much shorter exhaust compared to 570S, which contributes uh, dramatically towards weight savings, as well as positively affects the aerodynamics of the car. 600LT has an extended bodywork. As you can see, the rear of the car is slightly more extended. It is precisely 47.1 millimeters with the fixed rear wing. The fixed rear wing provides much more downforce and it is finished in the center with a heat protective coating to make sure that the wing is not damaged while the car is operated on the track. The diffuser of the car resembles a full-on race car diffuser. As you can see, Compared to a 570S and GT, the tailpipes are no longer existent, and it certainly has a new aggressive look to a rear end of the vehicle. One of the most special features about this 600LT is the McLaren Special Operations roof scoop that provides cooling towards the engine bay and gives a driver ultimate visceral experience on the track while cutting apexes. You can see that the roof scoop is complemented by the visual carbon fiber roof as well as contrails on the side. Let's take a look at the interior of this special chicane effect 600LT. We'll enter interior through the dihedral door. Just for your information, dihedral doors tend to save weight versus the traditional doors. Um, on the inside, you'll find by McLaren designer Alcantara interior, which is much lighter and grippier versus the full leather setup. We're inside 600LT coupe. As you can see, again, it is wrapped fully in black Alcantara. Alcantara has beautiful features of the contrast stitching as well as, as, well as the NSO McLaren orange seat belts to complement the calipers on the exterior of the car. On the steering wheel, you could find extended pedal shifters from the MSO. 
These help driver to select gears much quicker and much better when on the track. The steering itself is quicker to give a little bit more feedback, so all the controls within McLaren have been raised up slightly to give you a bit more feedback when you're driving the car, spiritually in the street or on the track. Within the interior, you could also notice much more carbon fiber. McLaren has not installed any carpets just to save the weight of the car. So all the noises that happen throughout the engine and transmission will be delivered to a driver directly. Within the car, you could find RS system, which in this specific coupe has an amazing feature of track telemetry. It allows you to record your laps and performances of any track that you wish to upload or design yourself. Thank you everyone for watching this video and following us on YouTube. Miller Motor Cars will provide a lot of interesting content for you. Please leave your comments below and let us know what you would like to hear more in our following videos. If you are available to visit our showroom, please visit and say hi to me at 348 West Putnam Avenue, Greenwich, Connecticut, or email me at akatkov at millermotorcars.com. Hope to see you soon. Take care.